Okay, here we are back inside Make to Skull. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. Uh, if you're a return viewer, thank you so much for the support and watching the content. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. It has been uh, absolutely humbling and overwhelming, all the comments and uh, the support that you're giving me. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please, please do so. Do so now. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I can't tell you uh, the con the comments that have been coming in. I I will get to a lot of that stuff here in the near future. Uh, I will be working on uh, doing a bangle bracelet and a uh, turkey shring. I think those are pretty cool things to talk about, as well as some more of the command uh, things that you can work with. And today is kind of like a command thing. Uh, my last video we did this design with it swirling around you know kind of basic and everything so today we're going to elaborate on it and show some other things uh, kind of give you something to think about while you're designing and, and how you can maybe manipulate things a little bit more uh, to give things more character and more uh, design uh, so that's what we're going with today uh, so right now I, I have this uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, we did the other day. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my wireframe. Click on wireframe because I think I have some uh, overlapping here, which I do. So I'm going to go to my curve and uh, turn on my points and then just select this point here and kind of drag him over so that he has a get rid of those uh, crossovers, right? Uh, so there's that all right uh, we'll take that uh, and now if I wanted to manipulate this surface in any way it's pretty much impossible uh, because it's a poly surface right so if I type in WHAT uh, it'll tell me that it's a valid poly surface so, oh boy yeah which is good to know uh, because what you, there's not a lot you can do with uh, poly surface unless you want to edit the uh, profiles and re-sweep them and stuff like that, right? But with nerve surfaces, you have a lot more options. And as you can see, I did not add the caps uh, on these. Uh, the caps are open, so it's just an open surf poly surface. So what I'm going to do to this side, because it doesn't have a lot of character like this side does here. So I want to give it a little bit more character a little bit more uh, design with the other side give it a little bit more look right so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and explode it now I have it in a couple different surfaces uh, and what I can do with this to change it to a NURB surface so that I can manipulate it better or have more control over it is I can go to my surface menu uh, go to edit tools and just go to merge and it'll ask me uh, select a pair of surfaces to merge so I'm going to select this surface and that surface and it'll just merge those together so now that's one surface there and then if I go to the other side and right click on the command select a pair of surfaces I'll select the one I just put together and then the one that's uh, not there right so now I, if I type in what I can see that I have a NURB surface and if you've been watching my videos you know what can we do with NURB surfaces we can turn on points and uh, so we'll just go to points turn them on uh, that's a lot of points <laughs> uh, you know uh, so what we can do here is uh, first what I'm going to do is go to my yellow layer and then I'm going to select all my yellow and just turn it to gray and hide it because it's really not going to be useful uh, right now uh, so what I can do is I can go to that surface and I can type in rebuild the surface you can't do this with a uh, poly surface but you can do it with nerves so I can redo the count point count on it right uh, so I want to give it a little bit less points uh, 15 ele it's 32 27 right now a degree 3 uh, and I think that uh, I think that should be okay. Uh, so, but you can change it, and, and let's go ahead and change that. So it, it gave me a little update, right? 
uh, and I have a lot less uh, points out there and you could probably make it less but the more less you make it the more it'll change the shape and you, you constantly need to go back and and check uh, make sure you don't have anything in those sharp edges uh, going over uh, but if you do it's not a real big deal you can uh, move things around now very easily uh, not like this though you'd be selecting one point at a time right uh, which is not good so what we want to do is we want to go to our command line and type in options all right and then we want to go to our toolbars uh, and then scroll down to select select uh, select select uh, select uh, points. Select po that right here. Select points. Click on there, and it'll, this menu uh, a box will pop up, and just hit OK. Now we have several options here. Uh, we're just going to look at a couple of them right now, but you can kind of go through and see. Select select uh, connected points. So if I select a point here, and I go to this one it'll just go to the ones connected to it no big deal uh, I can lasso something so I can just draw a circle around it hit enter uh, and it'll select a point uh, if I hit lasso and I wanted to select uh, these points and hit enter but I missed those oh. hit lasso select these two points here I can also go down here and uh, well, I could undo, you know, undo it so that I can get the points that I want. Hit enter, and it'll select those points. So you can kind of lasso them. You can also uh, go to uh, the V direction. So if I select this point here, surface point, and then hit the the U direction, uh, it'll select all those uh, all the way up through this that are in the U direction. And now at this point, I could uh, use my uh, gumball if I wanted to, and I could move those points around, right? Uh, and I'll undo that real quick and get it back to where I want it. Uh, and then I could also uh, maybe right here just select on this point. Say I wanted that loop. Uh, I could click the V direction. I'll select that loop. And if you wanted to, you could go up here and hold down Shift and kind of squeeze it in maybe you want some kind of smaller surface there right so you got something like that going on uh, so that's uh, <coughs> one easy way to select points and manipulate it you could also select one point at a time and kind of move it around and as you can tell it, uh, it's, it, it really has a decent uh, curve to it uh, you know there's not it's not real sharp right uh, so let's go back there's another way an easier way of course and so we're going to show that we're going to go down to our command line type in move UVN okay and this uh, box will pop up if you've seen my view, uh, videos in the past we talked a little bit about this uh, so now what I can do is I can go ahead and select uh, let's see uh, let's select uh, this point here and hold down shift and select this point and then go to my U direction so I have all those being selected and then I'll come up swirl, swing it around and I'm going to go ahead and uh, deselect these uh, four right here at the top so I'll hold down control and kind of just deselect those or you can just hold down control and click on them one at a time uh, but the nice thing about the UV uh, end move is that all those points are selected. So now I can move them in the V direction. I'll try and get them back to where close to where they were. I can move them in the U direction all together, or I can move them in the surface norms, right? so that it gives it now I have a little bit more character to my ring right so it offers a little bit more design possibilities right gives it a little groove in there so I could take this direction here 
go to my uh, U direction and maybe kind of bump them o over the other way so it kind of drags them out a little bit. Now I have a little bit more pronunciation and that curve there. I could uh, go and select uh, these two here, select my U direction and go to the norm and maybe bring them down e a little bit. So now I am able to really go through and, and manipulate uh, the surface a little bit more in detail. It looks like I might have a, moved them over. And the, your two friends, your two very good friends, is job bag. So once you get it to uh, uh, something that you like or you move it a little bit and you like that, save it. Uh, and then also undo will be uh, a good friend uh, so you can always go back right so uh, once you get it to where you like it a little bit save it and then if you do something bad you can't back out of it you always have it saved you can go back and and redo it uh, but there's there's this offers really a, a lot of uh, a, a lot of options that you could really change the design uh, of your ring uh, and it there it's endless possibilities so I would highly recommend it's it's a little difficult to to s get going on uh, or to start uh, playing around with but once you start playing around with it I, I think you'll find it very interesting and fascinating what all you can do uh, with this with this tool uh, pretty much endless possibilities uh, just kind of playing around with it moving your ends and V uh, all directions and seeing what kind of surfaces you can come up with uh, a little bit different a little bit more lively and don't forget, uh, you can always, uh, you know, just grab the bunch of them right there. Or you could just select the one and go to your uh, V direction. You have all those. Hold down shift and you can kind of manipulate it something like this. And you can kind of drag it around. So there, there's lots of opportunities and uh, ways to be able to change things, I guess, is kind of what I want to try and show. So... Uh, I recommend playing around with it if you haven't uh, and uh, hopefully it'll help you in your designing process so uh, thanks for watching hope the video helped uh, oh I guess I should mention before I do anything else is once you get it uh, you know how do you close it off right so let's move this out of the way how do you how do you gonna close it off because if I type it and I type in cap the enter uh, it really uh, doesn't do anything right so it's real easy all you have to do is make first make sure you don't have anything overlapping which you don't uh, so go to your curves go down to your from object just dupe the border there's one and there's two right and then hit enter and then all you have to do from here is select that go to your tools Go to cap, kind of drag it out, hit enter, and then grab that, grab this, join them together, and now you have that one closed off, and then do the same thing up here, cap, drag it out a little bit, hit enter and take that and that and join them together and now you have a closed poly surface so uh, don't worry about moving the points around like I said your your two friends will be uh, your two friends will be undo and job bag and then kinda keep moving it around and making adjustments and the more you use it uh, the easier and, and more understanding you'll have of it and you'll be able to come up with really crazy cool designs so hopefully the video helped uh, sorry it was so long uh, thanks for watching and if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do so uh, see you next time thanks a lot good designing